class via the London Challenge Cup and a superb performance that night by Ricky Otto. But over the course of the season, Stephen Jenkins, a little disappointing perhaps for Leighton Orient to finish where they did. Yes, although at the start of the season, I dare say, with the players that the O's had to let go, um, the Orient fans would have settled for the final position which uh, the team found themselves in. But certainly throughout most of the season, I think uh, most of the Orient supporters down here felt that the Orient would get promotion, if not automatically, via the playoffs. Because it, certainly throughout most of the season, they played some very good football. And it was only, I suppose, towards the last uh, month, six weeks, they fell apart. And really, it was very disappointing, almost very similar to the previous season. Well, ironic, in fact, that after the Stoke City match, that the uh, bad run began after that wonderful win. Yes, and uh, the game, which, as you probably saw in the highlights, which was a uh, few in chances, only the one goal, and the Orient really did have to weather a storm by Stoke at one stage. But we felt that was the sort of game that the O's had to win to really achieve something this year. And they go and do it, and unfortunately from then on the season went downhill, despite uh, another rally towards the end, but uh, it wasn't uh, good enough, and they failed not by one point, but on the amount of goals they scored this season to qualify for the playoffs. Well, very disappointing, of course, but some good things along the way, some very good hat-tricks as well. Yes, Terry Howard uh, scored a, uh, a very good hat-trick. Uh, Robert Taylor as well, um, hat-trick he scored against Exeter City. In fact, one of the goals was the uh, goal of the season. Um, you obviously saw that one earlier as well. Um, two hat-tricks that uh, certainly were stood out. And then we had the, the other hat-trick, which was scored by Ricky Otto. Um, again, a man with so much flair, and uh, if he could turn it on more for us on a week-to-week -week basis, I'm sure we would have been in one of those automatic promotion places. Well, you'll be talking to Peter Eustace a little later on, Steve, in this uh, programme, but uh, away from home, it really was lost there, wasn't it? A lot of people said the Wigan game here, which we lost, was the game that cost us promotion, but surely it would be that away form over the course of the season. Well, uh, Peter Eustace actually had interviews with uh, the local television companies quite a few times this season, and he stressed how important it was that the O did pick up away from home, because he felt that the pressure at the home matches certainly was building up, and it was must have got to the players after a while, and obviously that... Uh, that uh, suggestion did bear fruit at the end of the season. Um, the pressure did get to, to the O's at the end, and to lose, with no disrespect to a team like Wigan, to lose at home here was very disappointing. And I really, that really did put the, a cap on a very bad run, which I think put pay to any chance of automatic promotion hopes that Orient might have had. How do you see uh, next season, Steve? Uh... Well, it's uh, very hard to judge at the moment. Obviously, everyone's very disappointed the way it's finished. Uh, obviously, there's going to be some new personnel coming. Some have gone, uh, come to the end of their contract, etc but it remains to be seen how the, the continual flow of the youngsters coming through to a couple of Aiton Orient uh, fit in. Um, we've had some good youngsters come through last season, and uh, obviously it always all goes well for a club like Leighton Orient that really can't really afford to splash that lot of money for, I suppose, um, well-known players. So who do you think, uh, for you, stood out the most for Leighton Orient the last season here at Brisbane Road? Here at Brisbane Road, certainly Adrian Whitbread has always been a mainstay of the Orient side. Um, I suppose Danny Carter certainly um, come good in the second half of the season, and uh, players of experience, <coughs> Kevin Howell certainly, although he's now been released by Leighton Orient, certainly had a very good season, interrupted by injury, and come back well. Um, so the O's have always looked to uh, uh, a bit of experience from local lads, at the same time as obviously looking for the, uh, the youngsters to come through, and uh, really it's a question of keeping a happy balance, and really you've got to have this flow. The youth team policy is very important at a club like Leighton Orient, and um, there's going to be an appointment made shortly of a, a new youth team coach, and uh, that's something which was a, a very important position here at Leighton Orient. And of course, uh, a new major sponsor for Leighton Orient this coming season in uh, Heat Electric. Well, yes, it's a, a good sponsorship, do I dare say, and uh, a well-known uh, organisation. And let's hope it bears fruits not only for that company, but also for Leighton Orient. It's very important, very important season for the O's next year. They've been so close, we're getting closer year in, year, in, year out, and uh, really, something's got to happen next year.